<laughs> okay, on that note, uh -oh. Teresa asked me to do this poem. Yes, she did. Brace yourselves. <laughs> I just want to put this out there because a lot of my poems are really head centric, and I hope no one's offended by that. Um, but I, I, for a long time, have had a secret weakness for. Um, for straight white men, which I think is as kinky as it gets. So, you know. <laughs> I can't believe you asked me to do this. Do it. Do it. When a man calls you a whore in bed, the proper response is, yes, sir. Unlatch your screen door and beckon as octopi do. Take me out of a lockstep. Some of us keep time so well, we're cousin to metronomes and minute maids, and we bolt our errant scorpions to the floor. But the hedonist philosophers compose SATs to measure sexual intelligence, and all us nuns should be scoring 1580 or above. <laughs> Practice. When you meet the one with whom you want to moan, may your cum hit skin like A, sulfuric acid, your lips C, tarantula lights. My fright is as the troubadours sewing alien into their repertoires. I chase them into bungalows and onto open seas, and I know that I've caught one when I cry. Reasonable me and you, a melange of cock and cunt, balls and tits clanging in concert. Yes, of course I am a whore in bed because I am fucking, gerund, active, planting my bicuspids in the mortar, troubadour. Play the one that says I bury me alive in clay and hips are to copper. So this is the equation for glorious laughter. I should have listened to my orders long ago. <laughs> <laughs>